This is Chick Shane Mosley, and you're watching True School Sports. Right. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire, in association with Amateur Boxing Champions, proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports and Amateur Boxing viewers and subscribers. Now, another one of those videos we're talking about all those amateurs that myself sean porter sean to tell us the fine folks at amateur boxing champions had the privilege to uh, to interview and uh in this particular video we're going to talk about none other than houston's very own h-town's very own so many damn texans on this team like this is damn near texas it's not even the united states boxing team it's a damn texas boxing team you guys only damn texans on this team but anyway uh joshua edwards really really interesting guy good really good fighter uh, 22 years old, uh, big as shit, country strong, uh, fast, quick, sharp, just a really fun, a good fighter to watch, a fun fighter to watch. Now, before I get into the interesting stuff about his story and whatnot, just looking at his resume, he's beating some really good fighters. Like he won the 2021 uh, Nationals. He he beat some like he beat Price Taylor, who's a top fighter in, in America as far as amateur goes. Um, he beat uh, Najee Lopez, who's currently a, a professional uh, cruiserweight. Uh, but a, a really good professional cruiserweight, you know, guy that I think would be world champion, beat him. So if you, if, you, if you can beat guys like Price Taylor and Najee Lopez, it really shows that you're a, a, a really good fighter. And he beat Darius uh, Fulham as well. So he beat some really good top names in the amateurs, and he's been national champion. But even more interesting than that about Joshua Edwards, he told us, you know what he told us when when we were talking uh, to Joshua Edwards? Because he was like real quiet, real soft-spoken, not, not really much for words, but... You know, Sean Porter had asked him the question of like, what do you do when you're not boxing? What are some of your hobbies? And he's like, yeah, I, I can build I can build a house from scratch. And uh, yeah, he pretty much apparently Joshua Edwards is really is really good at building houses um, and, and, and he can build a house from the foundation on up. So, hey, you know, if you, you got the money right, got the bread right. You know, Joshua Edwards might be a man for the job to, to, to build a house. And he, he he's looking to build his own house one day. But a really good fighter, you know. I I watched some film on him. Feel like uh, he's still growing as a fighter, as are most fighters at this age. Nobody's really a finished product when you're 21, 22, 19. Anything. It's 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 not true for anybody. Not even like LeBron James in basketball. He wasn't even a finished product when he came into the league, and he was a phenom. And Kevin Garnett and all these kind of great players that came from high school to the NBA. So he's definitely not a finished article. But um, one thing that jumps out at me when I watch him fight is just he's really. He's, a, he's quick with his in and outs. Um, he's got a good frame on him. And he's not afraid to get in there. You know, he's not afraid to be in that pocket and, 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 and dish out some punishment if need be. So I, I like that about him. I like the fact that he's not really a guy that talks a whole lot about what he can do, what he can't do. He's more of he's a soft spoken guy. And he's not a guy that really I mean, I don't know him, but like based on what he told us, if I if I take him at his word, he's a guy that's pretty much just he's very much a family oriented person. He's very much about his boxing and, and, and building these houses. I still, I still can get over the fact that he said he could build houses because that's, that's not a skill that everyone has. And the fact that he's got it, it shows you that he has an IQ to learn. And he shows you that he, he has an, the, the IQ to, to set things up. So if you can set things up like building a house, then surely you can set things up like knocking someone out and, and, and throwing your punches. So, um, yeah, you know, him and Jamar Talley, who I made a video about, about as well, they're, they're friends and they fought and... He actually wound up. Uh, he lost to Jamar. He, he lost to Jamar Tally, but there's no shame in that. Um, Jamar Tally is a very good fighter, um, and I'm sure there's been times where they sparred at the training center. He's got the better of Jamar Tally, so uh, he's definitely one to watch out for. You know, I'm not sure if he's gonna go pro or whatever, but I think I think I think I, I, I like Joshua Edwards. I, I I liked all of them. Honestly, I, there wasn't anybody that I did, that I didn't like. I think the team in general has the the, the singular focus of you know, busting their ass to try to bring medals back to the USA. And, and, and if you're a man, especially if you're a male uh, USA boxer, bring bring back a gold because it's been, we're going on damn near 20 years without a gold medal in this country for USA amateur boxing. And that's that's just, it's 
uncalled for. It's it's, it's it should have never got to this point. But um, yeah, add him to the list. We coming, man. USA stars and stripes, baby. Joshua Edwards, he can knock you out. He can beat you up, and he can and he can build a house. So uh, yeah, that's my video on, on my take on Joshua Edwards. But uh, leave your thoughts and comments down below about Houston's very own Joshua Edwards. You know, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a gift from Daniel. So until next time, take care. Uh, just like uh, uh, Mayweather's uncle would say, a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. Um, you know, um, you you do. You've done Thank it. Thank you. You about the only smart guy that I know, bro. Nobody knows shit about boxing. I appreciate it, man. I'm gonna say, man, make sure to follow True School Sports, always covering boxing at the highest level, man, and make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram at Just a Kid from Dania as Ooh, well. He the Got plug. It.